Our top story tonight, heartbreak for the Wayne County Sheriff's Department after a beloved corporal was killed by an inmate inside the county jail. Corporal Bryant Searcy was an 18 year veteran of the force and a devoted father. Defender Sean Lay spoke to members of Searcy's family and his fellow deputies and Sean, he's being remembered as one of the good guys. Absolutely, and this is such a tragedy on so many levels. We'll get to that, but first we're remembering Corporal Searcy speaking to the pastor at the church the Searcy's went to in Detroit. The pastor puts it this way, when Corporal Searcy smiled, you felt it. You'll see it in the photos we'll show you. We're also speaking to the Corporal's daughter who got a phone call from her mom last night that was absolutely crushing. When Corporal Bryant Searcy was attacked by an inmate and lost his life last night, his daughter Chastity at college in North Carolina got a call from her mother. My mom couldn't even tell me. My godmom had to take the phone and finish the sentence for her. Today, a massive outpouring of emotion over the loss of the 18-year veteran deputy who seemed to touch lives everywhere he went. His daughter will always remember his messages to her. It's always big on God and being a good person because he always made sure that I knew that the good that I did to others will always come back to me. Searcy's death rocking the Wayne County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff, he has such a beautiful family. What was your message to his wife and daughter? We're going to be here for you any way that we can. Quantez Presley is the family's pastor. His greatest achievement uh, was that of the love that he shared with his wife and that he imparted in his daughter. Sergeant Brian Reinhardt worked with Searcy for years. He stood out. It's just such a professional. Back here live. The question is, how did this happen? We're digging into that at 6 o'clock. Stay tuned because we are learning that this inmate somehow blocked the lock on his cell door. Investigators looking into how he was able to do that so the door would not lock. We're also looking into the fact that sources are telling us that Corporal Searcy was making his rounds alone. That's a major problem. His partner was not with him. And we are learning tonight, guys, that this attack lasted 20 to 30 minutes. It's much more coming up at six. Awful. Well, Sean, I know Corporal Searcy didn't always work in the jail. He had an impact at juvenile court as well. Juvenile court where he was working as a deputy was doing much more because you've got young people coming through that are in crisis. So he would take the time to talk with them. And we heard a story from one of his co-workers today that he carried a Rolodex of motivational uh, quotes with him. And if he saw someone that needed to hear something uplifting, he would whip out the Rolodex, read them a quote right then and there. And you could see that he touched lives everywhere he went. And the pastor says when he smiled, you felt it. And yeah. You truly believe that. Yeah. What a loss. What a tragedy. Okay, Sean, thanks.